stop. He started working at a whiskey distillery owned by Dan Call. Jack was impressed by the quality of whiskey that was being produced. One day, Dan introduced him to the man who was behind the alcohol's smooth taste. This here is Nearest. He's the best whiskey maker I know. But Nearest wasn't Dan's employee. It was Tennessee in the late 1800s, and Dan enslaved Nearest Green. Jack learned everything he needed to learn about whiskey from Nearest. Nearest showed him how to pass whiskey through maple charcoal, which removed the impurities and left a bit of sweetness. Historians believe that this process originated from Africa, where Africans have been filtering their water using charcoal for many generations. Much of early America's whiskey is owed to the skills and labor of 